Hello dear students, I welcome you all in the discussion of quick solutions of the All India Cash Test Series Miracle 2021. We would be discussing the test number 3, specifically the code CND and this test was conducted on 1st of December 2019. Now dear students, let us proceed to the first question of the test. Question number 1 says, a book is placed on a horizontal table. The angle between the normal force by the book on the table and the weight of the book is. Now dear students, let us draw the free body diagram of the book and the table. As per the question, there is a book, let us represent book by this block. The weight of the book would be vertically downwards, let us represent that by W. There would be a normal force on the book, that is N, and this would be by the table on the book. Now dear students, as per the Newton's third law, the book will apply a vertically downwards normal that would be on the table by the book. We have to find out the angle between this weight W and the normal which is being applied on the table by the book. As we can see from the diagram, the angle between W and N is 0 degrees. That is, they are parallel to each other. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 4, that is 0 degrees. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number 2. Question number 2 says, a block is sliding down a rough inclined plane of angle of inclination theta with constant velocity. The force of friction between the block and the inclined plane is. It is given that the coefficient of friction between the block and inclined plane is mu. Now dear students, as per the question, there is an inclined plane on which there is a block which is sliding down with a constant velocity, which means that the acceleration of the block is equal to zero. We can represent the forces that are being applied on this block as mg that will be weight which is vertically downward and the friction which will be along the incline in upward direction. Now dear students, this weight can be resolved in two components that is along the incline which will be mg sin theta and perpendicular to the incline which will be mg cos theta. This mg cos theta will balance a normal force by the incline on the block n. Now dear students, since this is a case of sliding, therefore the kinetic friction which is equal to mu n or mu mg cos theta would act on the block. Now since the acceleration is zero, it means that the net force on the block should be zero. We can write down that mg sin theta minus f should be equal to zero or mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta is equal to 0. Dear students, from this equation only we can see that f is equal to mg sin theta. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 3. Dear students, let us proceed to the next question which is question number 3. Question number 3 says the linear momentum of a particle is given by p vector is equal to a vector plus b vector t square where t is time and a vector and b vector are constant vectors. The magnitude of force acting on the particle varies with time s. Now dear student, as per the Newton's second law, we can write that force is equal to the rate of change of linear momentum that is the differentiation of linear momentum with respect to time. We can write down that the differentiation of P as per the equation should be equal to 2 multiplied by B vector into T. Therefore, the force is actually proportional to T which makes the option number 1 of this question as the correct answer. Dear students, let us proceed to the question number 4. Question number 4 is a theoretical question and it says that when a body moves with an increasing speed along a horizontal circle, then first option, no work is done on the body. 
second option work done on the body is positive third option work done on the body is negative a fourth option work done may be positive or zero now dear students since the velocity or the speed of the body is increasing it means that the kinetic energy of the body would also be increasing this means that the change in kinetic energy for the body would be greater than zero now dear students as per the work energy theorem we must know that the work is equal to the change in kinetic energy and since kinetic energy is change is greater than zero therefore the work should also be greater than zero and hence a positive work is being done on the body therefore dear students the correct answer for this question is option number 2 now dear students let us proceed to the question number 5 question number 5 says a ball of mass 0.5 kg moving with velocity 2 i cap plus 2 j cap meter per second is caught by a fielder if the ball comes to rest in 1.414 seconds then the magnitude of average force applied on the ball is now dear students to find out the value of force or the average force we must find out the change in the momentum and divide it by the time taken to bring about that change here in delta t has been given to us to be equal to 1.414 seconds now dear students the final momentum of the particle is zero and the initial momentum which can be written as mass multiplied by velocity of the particle is equal to since the mass is given to be 0.5 we write 0.5 multiplied by 2i cap plus 2j cap which makes the initial momentum as i cap plus j cap kg meter per seconds dear students the initial momentum has a magnitude equal to root 2 kg meter per second therefore dear students if we substitute the value of delta p which will be equal to p final minus p initial we have to specifically substitute the magnitude of this change and divide it by time which will be equal to 1.414 we can write it to be equal to root 2 divided by 1.414 and dear students the value of root 2 is approximately equal to 1.414 so the value of average force turns out to be equal to 1 newton and hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 4 now dear students let us proceed to the next question of the test which is question number 